I'm Nick Rice, class of 22, uh, Franklinton High School, Canes Baseball. I play corner infield and pitcher, and this is what's in my bag. Uh, so I got these trout cleats. Uh, I actually got these at a local Dick's out in like Wilson because I left my cleats at home one game. So we had to scramble to find something. They're about a half size too small, but it's fine. Then I got uh, New Balance Turfs. I think I got these for Christmas. I didn't, uh, my old Turfs, there were nothing wrong with them, but it's nice to have multiple pairs. And into the bag, I got my infield glove. I use this at third base, outfield, and when I pitch, and even just in warmups, I like to throw with this. It's an A1000, not as expensive, but perfect glove. Then over at first base, I got this Rawlings Elite. Um, it's a floppy glove, it's pretty old, but it does the job. I can get some nice picks with it, you know. Under the hitting, we got the Franklin gloves, They're just the standard black and white. They're pretty new, like a week of use. Already a little dirty, but no holes. I got the all black helmet. You know I gotta have the C flap. Can't be getting hit in the face, even though I got an ugly one. It's all right. And then way down here, got this old glove. I think I stopped using this whenever I got the A1000. Tiny little thing. We like to keep it in here. When we come out to the field, my dad likes to use this. It hurts. Looks like I got two pairs of sunglasses. I never wear these. I don't like the glare. The black and red. And white and gray. Good that we did this, I didn't know they were in here. <laughs> now I got a couple old balls. These should never be used. Got some plyo balls in here. I got three of these for warm-ups. Keep my shoulder nice and strong. Some torn up batting gloves. I guess just in case I lose the other ones. And there's arm sleeve in here. This wasn't even from long ago, this was from like Saturday. I just left it in there. And I got classic Mizuno, it's bamboo. There was a sticker right there. We couldn't quite get it all off. So hopefully that just wears out. It's a 34, 31 ounce. I used to swing a 33 uh, inch wood bat and then I broke it like a month ago. But I wanted to get a bigger one since I've been swinging 34 on my metal bats for like a year. So when I was really little, I had a, probably in like 12U, I had a Easton Mako, it was the orange bat. Everyone had those. And eventually I had to move up because it was too small. I think it was like a drop 10. And we had to, in middle school, we had to spring drop fives. Uh, and then I went over to a, a combat. Those were really hot at the time. Everyone had those. It was probably 31 inches. And then I moved up to a, 32 inch, or 32 or 33. It was a Louisville Slugger Omaha. I think uh, a 2019 model. It was a great bat. Um, just got a little bit too small, so I moved on to the goods right here. And then this one, I got the goods. It's pretty new, like a week ago I got it. I mean, it's not fully broken in, but it's a nice bat overall. I would recommend it. Uh, 
Oh, I want uh, one of those sliding mitts, you know, the oven mitt, but those are really expensive. Those are like $110. Uh, that would be really nice to have. I don't really like the, uh, you know, the protective stuff, like the elbow guard, the uh, foot guard, leg guard, foot guard, I don't know. I don't really use those. I don't, I've never used those. I mean, I don't get hit a lot, so maybe if I did, I'd be more cautious. 